YouTube, Kurt Curtis. I'm a part-time eBay seller. I had a pretty busy week this week, uh, mostly due to being on vacation from my regular job. So I had a lot of time to work on eBay. As far as sales go, it was actually pretty slow. I didn't sell that many items. One of the slowest weeks I've had in a long time. But um, I did pick up a lot of stuff. I ended up going to two estate sales, three thrift stores. Um, one thrift store I actually went to twice. And also I got a Dymo printer finally. So um, I'll show you that. First, I'll show you everything that's sold, which won't take too long. Uh, then I do actually have some live footage of me at the estate sales and the thrift store. Thrift store footage, I will have to play my own music over because uh, the thrift stores were blasting their music. So um, just, just a heads up. Um, after I show you the live footage, I will break down and show you everything I did on picking up because some of it's hard to see. I just have my phone in my pocket, so sometimes you can't see everything. So I'll give a breakdown of everything I bought at the estate sales and the thrift stores. After that, I'll show you the Dymo printer and how that's going so far. And um, yeah, let's get right to it. All right, starting the week off with a few um, low-end sales, but here we have this Lincoln Park t-shirt. Um, nothing crazy here, only sold for $8.54. Next up, I have this Simpsons character, uh, this action figure. I've line bought this for like two or three bucks, so not the best buy here. Uh, only ended up selling for ten seventy four. Got this Quicksilver T-shirt. Uh, looks kind of cool. Only ended up selling for four ninety nine. Got a DVD going out. This is just The Office season four. Uh, I should have lotted this up. I shouldn't have sold it individually. Only ended up selling for $5.99. All right, got my hat bin here. Next sale, I had one person buy three hats. This one. This one, let me see. Um, here it is. So they offered me $35 for the three hats, and I took the offer. It was a little weird how it went down, because um, I didn't have best offer on. So I don't know how to do that. If, if you know a better way of doing this, let me know in the comments. But basically what happened is I had him buy one of the hats at full price, and then I did the math, and then I sent him offers, um, like equal offers for the other two hats to equal the $35. Um, since I didn't have best offer on, he had to message me individually for each hat. I don't know. It was weird. I thought it was going to be a huge mess, but it actually went really smooth. Um, so yeah, I got this uh, PGA um, tour hat. This is actually like new without tags. Still have the cardboard. It's really nice. We got this cool hat, trucker hat. And we got this Tiger Woods um, yeah, Nike golf hat. So yeah, $35 for all three of those. And I believe, yeah, I paid a dollar for each of those. So I have $3 into that. It was a pretty good sale. Also, this will uh, save me on shipping. I'll be able to, hopefully this will be able to squeeze in first class. It might be under a pound, but we'll see. Next up, I sold this Lego Duplo. A uh, green base plate. I got this for 50 cents at a yard sale. I want to say like in the beginning of the summer. It's, it's just been sitting here. I just didn't want to deal with it because I don't really have a box for this. So I'll show you how I'm going to ship this. I actually just, I already did this before. So when I did have to ship it, it wouldn't be as a pain. But yeah, I just cut like two flat pieces of a box that I wasn't going to use. And I'm just going to like sandwich this in the middle. I might put some paper or bubble wrap around it. I don't know. But, um, and then just tape around the edges. But yeah, this this should be able to ship first class. So yeah, just kind of kind of sat there for a while because I didn't want to deal with it. May not buy those again. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I got that for fifty cents. Ended up selling for fifteen ninety nine, and it sold pretty quickly in about I'd say two weeks. Sold this uh, the mountain all over print dragon and wizard T shirt. This is actually really cool. Um, it's crazy that the year two thousand was now twenty years ago. So stuff from then is now considered vintage. Yeah, this is a cool shirt. I got this for $2 at an estate sale. Ended up selling for $19.99. Next up, something I wouldn't pick up again. But it's just this Columbia button-up shirt. I believe I got this for $0.69. Cents and only ended up selling for $7.83. Got a t-shirt sale. This is a band shirt. Soil work. It's actually a really cool shirt. I thought it was going to do better than it did. I probably got this somewhere between $1 and $2. Ended up selling for $7.99. Got a Wii game going out. Um, let's see. Oh, here it is. Got Spore Hero. Probably paid a dollar for this. Ended up selling for $7.99. Next up is another t-shirt. This is just an, an express shirt. This was a bad buy, but I think I only paid 69 cents for this. Only ended up selling for $5.22. I've had this thing for a very long time, probably over a year. 
Next up, got a little manga lot going out. It's a three book lot. This one right here. Uh, like Maduka Magica. Got three of them. So I have 37 cents a piece in each of these. So I have a dollar and 11 cents in the stack. Ended up selling for $22.49. And last up for the week is this Harley Davidson t shirt from 1999. It's got embroidery on the front, the little 1999 logo on the bottom. Um, this didn't do too good. I got this for a dollar, ended up selling for nine seventy four, dollars And um, I think it's just because it doesn't have any kind of graphic on it. Like a lot of Harley Davidson shirts will have this huge graphic, but still made a little bit of money off of it. You know? Shoes off or covers on. Either way. Do you know where the... PlayStation 2 was? Uh, power bar. Right to the left. Okay. Keep going left. Two pieces of clothing and a couple of books. Okay, so these I think were so, so two dollars each. Yeah, two yeah. Two what do you guys do on the books? I could do two for a dollar. Okay. So, cool. so seven.
All right, here's what I ended up getting at one of the estate sales. Um, not too much. Got this uh, women's American Eagle Outfitters, like shorts. The only reason I got these was because it was still new with tags. Uh, this was only $2. And here is like a men's Orvis, um, I don't know, pullover, quarter zip thing. It's in really nice condition. Um, not really sure what this can go for, but again, it was only $2. Took a chance on it. And then picked up a little stack of Potter books, um, soft cover book two and three. These were 50 cents each. And hardcover book four and seven. These were a dollar each. There were some other hardcovers, but one of them didn't have the dust jacket and the other one was damaged when I opened it. So I didn't get all of them. Yep. All right, here's all the stuff I picked up from the other estate sale. Got a couple clothing items. Um, got this Augusta National Golf Shop with the Masters logo, green polo. This was $4, nothing on the back. And I got two uh, Cabela's outdoor gear shirts, like short sleeve button shirts. And these are actually sized 3XL tall. So these things are huge. I guess I could lot them up if I wanted to, but yeah, these were um, four bucks each as well. So we'll see how those go. Uh, I might be able to get more for them because of the big size, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, got a stack of sealed DVDs, nothing crazy here. I paid a dollar each for these. Um, I don't mind selling sealed DVDs, making three, four bucks, five bucks maybe, depending on how much they sell for. Just because I take two photos, front, back, done. When I ship them, I just throw them in a padded envelope. So it's very easy. But I understand some people wouldn't want to sell these just because the profit is pretty small. And last thing I picked up from there are these Patagonia shoes. These are men's shoes. It actually says they're size 15. To me... I guess this is like a size 15. I just imagine a size 15 shoe would be bigger, but I guess these are pretty big shoes. But yeah, this this was a good pickup. These were only $6 and they're in pretty good condition. So we'll see what I can get for these. But um, yeah, going to the two estate sales, not too bad. Just got back from a thrift store. Um, I found a decent amount of items and I also did have a 20% off coupon. So I'll let you know how, every, how much everything cost after tax and the coupon and everything.
Um, first, I have a Fruit of the Loom vintage single stitch blank pink pocket tee. Uh, this ended up being $1.67. And we got another one here, but in black. Uh, same thing, single stitch, black pocket tee, um, $1.67. Here's a cool shirt. This is actually a band shirt, whole wheat bread. It's like a punk band. Got the logo on the front. Got some stuff on the back. This ended up being $2.47. Not too bad. Got a Lincoln Park 2010-2011 um, tour shirt. Cool logo on the front. Got all kinds of stuff on the back. This was also $2.47. And here we have a Paramore shirt. I seem to find a bunch of these. Kind of, I've never seen this one before. Cool logo. This ended up being $2.47 as well. And um, here's another band shirt. This one's cool. I made a mistake on this though. I thought this color tag was on sale, but it wasn't. So I still got the 20% off, but I thought it was 50% off. Um, yeah, there's nothing on the back. So this was kind of a fail. I ended up paying $4.87 for this, which was not what I was expecting. And then here we have a, a Peter Millar shirt. This ended up being um, $6.47. And um, I haven't sold these before, but it looks like you can get around $25 bucks for it. So a little bit more than I like to pay for a shirt, but I think there's room for profit there. And also I picked up a video game, uh, Luminous Arc. This is the U.S. version. Um, this ended up being $20.47, even with the um, coupon, but I think I can get around like 40 bucks for it, hopefully. They did have like five other games similar to this that weren't valued as much, but um, at the price they were asking, there was not that much room for profit. Tomorrow is 50% off day for the whole store. I might try to go just to get in line and like snag up those five games, but... I'm not really sure. It'll probably be like a disaster. But um, yeah, that's everything I found. So hopefully this game alone will mostly pay for everything here or just about pay for everything. That's the plan. And then all that should be profit. So not too bad. So I did end up going back to that thrift store the next morning for the 50% off day. Um, I got there about 15 minutes before it opened and I was like fourth in line. But by the time it actually opened, there was literally like 50 people in line. Um, seems like most people were going for clothes and stuff, which I had already went through the day before. So I was able to get all the video games that I wanted. I paid $34.60 for this stack of five games. Um, obviously, this isn't like yard sale prices, but there's still room to make money here. Um, this game, based on uh, comps, I'm expecting to get around $25 for. This one, Rune Factory, expecting to get around $20. Children of Mana, expecting to get around 23. This Final Fantasy game, expecting to get like 14, 15. And this one, probably around $13. So yeah, that was I was glad I was able to pick those up the next day. All right, went to another thrift store this week. Um, this one was Salvation Army. Um, got a bunch of stuff here. I'll let you know how, how much everything cost with um, some tags were on sale and with tax involved and everything. So got another just blank Duluth trading uh, red t-shirt. Um, this ended up being $1.70. Not too bad. Found a couple more Paramore shirts. I think these are actually women's shirts. Um, picked these up because they were 99 cents. Uh, with tax and everything, they ended up being $1.20. So this one's kind of cool. Here's another one similar. And here we have just like a NASCAR shirt. I think I've only sold a NAS NASCAR shirt once before and it did pretty good. Um, I don't know. I don't know who this is. I'm not familiar with NASCAR, but this was a 99 cent shirt as well. So with tax and everything, ended up being only $1.20. So I picked it up. Here is a Nat Nast 100% um, silk shirt. I've heard this brand name get thrown around here and there. So uh, I've never sold this brand before, but I'm going to try it out. This ended up being $4.20. So we'll see how that does. It has like a um, little logo there. And then the armpits actually have like like breathing holes and stuff. <clears throat> Picked up a pair of jeans. This brand is called Gas. I've never heard of it. That's why I looked it up when I was there. And it seemed like they were um, comping out pretty well. So I picked these up because they were half off. They were half off tag. These ended up only being $3.70. So we'll see how these do. And then we got this uh, vintage Marmot 
jacket. This was half off too, size medium. This is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna have to wash it. There's a little bit of marks here. But yeah, this is really nice. This ended up being $7.70 with tax and everything. Yeah, it has a little logo on back. So some of these brands I'll have to try out, never sold before, but we'll see how they do. Also picked up this little stack of Magic the Gathering novels. These are like the older ones. They don't make these anymore. Um, I'm not sure if they make them now. I, I thought I heard that they uh, started making novels again, but it might be digital only. I'm not sure. But as far as these old novels go, I think they have a little value. It's not anything crazy, but um, it's kind of cool to find these. I found three of these before, and I just kind of have them stored up in one of these bins. Not really sure how I'm going to go about selling these because each cycle had like three books. So I kind of have random ones. But yeah, these ones are actually in good condition. So picked up three of those. Those were half off. They ended up being $1.68 each, so not too bad. Always check the pockets of everything you buy because you'd be surprised. I mean, here's just two cents. It's not a big deal. But in the past, I found um, $17 in a jacket before that I bought, like a pre owned jacket. So always check all the pockets of everything you buy just, just in case anything's in there because it might be money. All right, so I finally got a thermal printer. I ended up getting the Dymo, the 4XL. Uh, label writer. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a long time and um, I ended up using some gift cards for Christmas to like kind of knock down the price so I didn't end up having to pay full price. So I finally got one. This thing is going to be great. Um, thermal printers don't use ink. It just uses like heat. So you never have to buy ink. So the only thing I'll have to buy with this thing is uh, label rolls. And there's like rolls like this. The rolls come in 220. So I mean I bought about a a box of six of them, which uh, right now at the volume I sell, like should last me like at least a year. I think it was like less than $30. So that's good because in a year with like this printer, I probably have to buy toner at least once, um, maybe twice. And I don't know, that's like 40, 50 bucks each time. Plus I would have to buy these like label sheets. These are like, you know, just paper, but they, this is what I was using before. After it prints out, you stick it, but the label would print, and this would be like the receipt. Here would be the label. Then I have to take scissors, cut it in half, and then cut around the label, then put it on. This is just going to shoot out the label. And then, um, yeah, maybe see if, see if I can do a sample. Yeah, see the label just comes out, tear it off, peel it off, and you're good to go. It's, it's a lot faster. Um, I know I did just get this laser printer not that long ago. But it is good to have this. I do need this sometimes for regular uh, printing regular things. Like if I'm ordering shipping supplies online, I need to print out the receipt, I'll do it on this. Or if I need to print out like statements from PayPal, I can do it on this. So this is still good to have. This wasn't like a waste of money, even though it wasn't that expensive. And also if for whatever reason anything happens to this, this is like a backup. I do still have these. So I'll able to be able to print labels if this like malfunctions or doesn't work for some reason. I'll have this as a backup, which is good. Um, installing it wasn't that bad. I was kind of nervous because it was seemed like a pain, but you basically just install this like um, install desktop software and then uh, in your eBay printing page, you just change to four by six. So you do have to adjust a couple things. The one problem I did have though, is after everything was set up, these are just sample labels, obviously. The top here was getting cut off. And I don't think it's that big a deal because you can still scan the barcode, still has the address and everything, but it kind of bothered me. I tried resizing it. I tried looking up videos, tried um, looking on forums and stuff on Reddit. Couldn't really figure it out. <clears throat> um, I was using Google Chrome. The second I pulled up uh, Firefox and didn't make any adjustments, just the only difference I was doing was using Firefox instead of Google Chrome, the labels came out perfect. So I don't know why that is, but that is... a uh, a thing apparently. I'm probably going to make a very short video explaining this to people because I know it would have helped me when I was setting it up, which will probably be out before this video is out. But yeah, so it's kind of annoying now because I prefer to use Google Chrome, but I guess when I'm going to ship labels, I'm just going to open eBay and Firefox, print out my labels, and then if I want to do anything else in eBay, I'll just go back to Chrome. Kind of annoying, but until I find a permanent solution, that's just how it's going to be, and that is well worth the hassle to be able to use this thermal printer over the regular printer. But um, yeah, so far, I've only used it a couple times, but so far um, I'm really liking it. So I'm, I'm really glad I got this.
All right, that's going to be all for this week. Um, hopefully sales will be better next week. But um, the good thing is I have been listing stuff as I've been getting it. Like every single thing you saw in this video that I picked up is listed except for the Harry Potter books, which I saved for a complete set and uh, the pair of jeans I did not list. But everything else has been listed. So hopefully I can do that. Just keep up with it so there isn't a death pile. But yeah, um, I ordered 700 feet of bubble wrap. So I'm all prepared, ready to go for that. Um, I just got my eBay store coupon. So I'm going to order some boxes. And yeah, I'm ready for 2020. As always, the link to my eBay store is in the video description. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out a lot. And uh, until next week.